Okay. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you. So the next section is the contour integration. So from this, you, uh, so you can expect one question. It's a part B question or part C, whatever it is, uh, evaluation, contour integration, <coughs> evaluation of definite integral. So the first type, type one, I think there are two types in the syllabus. So type one is uh, integrals of the form. Integration zero to two pi f of cos theta comma sin theta. Into d theta. So, so to evaluate this integral, uh, we take a unit circle. To evaluate this integral we, uh, we take a unit circle mod is that equal to 1 as the contour So when mod is not equal to one, is that equal to this is one? Is that equal to e power i theta? Uh, if you differentiate, is that with respect to theta? You will get uh, you will get e power i theta into i. So this implies uh, d is that equal to i into e power i theta into d theta or d is that equal to i into uh, e power i theta is z so i z into d theta so Uh, we will use these results in the problem. So you should remember this result. Otherwise, again, you need to prove in the examination. So d is not equal to i is that into d theta. So next, uh, from this, okay, I think uh, I need d theta. Not I don't need d z because I need d theta, okay. So what is contour? Yeah, contour is a, it is a continuous uh, uh, a closed curve. Okay, it is a continuous closed curve. Uh, so I think I explained. I, I just I gave the definition when I start the uh, uh, class. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, I will just to uh, mm, okay. uh, 
I don't know whether it is here. We will check it in the Virarajan book. It's a closed, continuous close to curve uh, there. Okay, so okay, it is not. Yeah, it is not uh, properly mentioned in this book. Okay, it is a continuous close to curve. So if you want to discuss that one, we can discuss a little bit later. That one. Okay. Sir. I want to now discuss with you residue evaluation of the residues. Okay. Well, I'm checking whether it is given here properly or not. Contour, contour derivation. So now, actually, in in your Virajan book, it is actually it is a type three. Okay, so, so now we are uh, discussing this type. Okay, uh, integration 0 to 2 pi. I, I wrote it is a f of uh, sin theta comma cos theta, but here it is mentioned p of sin theta comma cos theta by q of sin theta comma cos theta. Okay. So now I need d theta. Okay, so from this, uh, what is d z? d z equal to i into e power i theta is e z into d theta. So this implies I need a, a d theta. d theta is a d z by i z. d theta is a d z by i z. Okay. So uh, this is actually, this is a contour here. So Okay, mod z equal to 1, circle with the center at origin and the radius 1. So instead of evaluating uh, from theta varies from 0 to 2 pi, okay, so you can uh, evaluate the same integral around the over a closed uh, curve. So, okay, so that is we say it's a contour. Uh, here c is mod z equal to 1. Okay, now we got d theta is d z by i z. Okay, and then I, I also convert uh, cos theta in terms of z and sin theta in terms of z. I converted d theta in terms of z. Okay, now cos theta. So, you know cos theta equal to uh, e power i theta plus e power minus i theta. Uh, divided by 2 okay so we know that uh, e power i theta is e z and e power minus i theta is 1 by e z uh, divided by 2 that is e z square plus 1 uh, divided by 2 e z so cos theta equal to e z square plus 1 by 2 e z so this is a, another result. Similarly, sine theta. Sine theta equal to e power i theta minus e power minus i theta divided by 2i. So e power i theta is z minus e power minus i theta is 1 by z by 2i. So, this is equal to z square 
minus 1 divided by 2 z i or 2 i z. So sin theta equal to z square minus 1 by 2 i z. So this is the another result. Okay. So now the given integral is of the form one. The integration 0 to 2 pi f of cos theta comma sin theta into d theta. So therefore integral 0 to 2 pi f of cos theta comma sin theta into d theta. Okay. So now this is the instead of evaluating this integral, it is equal to evaluate the integral mod z, c is mod z equal to 1. Okay. Uh, it's a function of uh, z. Okay. Then only you can apply Cauchy residue theorem. Okay. That's why we are converting like this. So, cos theta is what? z square plus 1 by uh, 1 by 2 z minus sin theta is z square minus 1 by 2 i z into d theta. d theta is d z by i z. So actually this is of the form integral over c uh, f of z d z. So, so using Cauchy residue theorem then we, this, this one you can write 2 pi i into some of the residues. So using Cauchy residue theorem, this is a 2 pi i into sum of the residues so by CRT, Cauchy residue theorem. Okay, now uh, I'll start from a simple problem and then we'll slowly increase the, uh, uh, first of, from simple problem to we'll solve some difficult problem later. Evaluate integration 0 to 2 pi d theta divided by 2 plus cos theta. by Cartor integration. Solution. So first, we uh, should take, let us take z equal to e power i theta and uh, d, d theta is directly you can write, there is no need to derive, d theta is d z by i z and I need a cos theta. Here I don't need sin theta. Cos theta is z square plus 1 by z square plus 1 by 2 z. Okay. Now this integral i equal to integral 0 to 2 pi uh, d theta divided by 2 plus cos theta is equal to okay is equal to i equal to integral over c mod z equal to 1 uh, d theta is what d theta is uh, uh, d is a by i z that is uh, you should replace the numerator uh, denominator 2 plus cos theta cos theta is z square plus 1 by 2 z. So this is equal to integral over c. Okay. So uh, there is no need to write every time mod z equal to 1. Just to write c. Okay. Uh, d z by i z. Uh, to take LCM, we will get what? 4 z plus uh, z square plus 1 divided by 2 z. 
or you can write uh, you can cancel z and z so 2 is going to the numerator 2 interval over c uh, okay 2 here have 1 by i so 2 by i interval over c d z divided by z square plus 4 z plus 1 so I call this is uh, 1. Now equate the denominator equal to 0. Now uh, this is other form integral over c uh, f of z dz where f of z is what? Here f of z is 1 by z square plus 4 z plus 1. So now I am going to equate the denominator equal to 0, z square plus 4 z plus 1 equal to 0. So from this you can find the two roots. So z equal to minus b plus r minus root of b square 16 minus 4 ac, okay, divided by 2a. So you will get z equal to minus 4 plus r minus root of uh, 12 by 2 root of 12 by 2 okay or you can write this is minus 4 plus or minus this is 4 into 3 so 2 root 3 by 2 so minus 2 plus or minus root 3 so is that equal to minus 2 plus or minus root 3. So actually this is a quadratic equation is that it has uh, two roots. Okay. So that's why that's why it is a pole. Okay. Uh, it is a pole. A pole of order 1. Okay. So z equal to minus 2 plus root 3 is a pole of order 1 and also z equal to minus 2 minus root 3 is a pole of order 1. Uh, are simple pole. Okay, so now out of these two, which one lies inside uh, mod z equal to 1? So actually, uh, when, uh, when z equal to, so this is lies inside, this is lies outside. By observation, you can tell when z equal to mod. Uh, uh, Sir? Yeah, please tell Rasha. Uh, it's always uh, C is like mod Z is equal to 1 only, no, sir? Uh, uh, yeah, actually, yes, for uh, this type of problem, okay, mod Z is only is the contour. Yes, sir. Type 1. Okay. Yes, sir. So here, uh, modulus of, uh, uh, modulus of Z, uh, modulus of Z is nothing but 1. So, this is actually... Uh, one point uh, one, okay so one point seven three two okay minus two plus uh, one point seven three two okay so this is what uh, nearly modulus of minus uh, uh, zero point two okay eight six eight I think so please check it so that this is nothing but uh, 0 0.268 which is less than 1 okay so that's the that, uh, this implies is that equal to uh, minus 2 plus root 3 lies inside mod is uh, inside c but the c is uh, mod is that equal to 1 okay similarly when 
is that equal to minus 2 minus root 3 okay mod is that equal to modulus of minus 2 minus uh, root minus root 3 which is equal to this is 1.732 minus 2 so uh, 3.732 which is greater than 1 okay so this implies is that equal to uh, minus 2 minus root 3 lies outside lies outside c c is uh, here mod is equal to one okay now please write charge is low I need to put a charger Okay, uh, so is that equal to minus 2 minus root 3 uh, lies outside the circle mod is that equal to 1. Okay, so now only thing you need to find the uh, residue for the, those uh, singularity, those poles which lies inside the mod is that equal to 1. So R1, R1 is equal to residue of f of z f of z at z equal to uh, what is the point which lies inside mm -hmm. minus 2 uh, plus root 3 okay wa? so i consider this is some uh, alpha okay wa? this is equal to alpha minus 2 or otherwise you can take this is equal here alpha and this is beta or is that only is that two so that is up to you 
So now z equal to alpha lies inside. So that is we are going to find the residue of f of z at z equal to alpha. So now this is a simple pole. So there is a limit z approaches alpha, z minus alpha into f of z. So this is equal to limit z approaches alpha, z minus alpha into f of z is what? Your f of z is, uh, this is f of z, 1 by z square plus uh, 4z plus 1. So that is 1 by z minus alpha into z minus beta. So 1 by z minus alpha into z minus beta. So you can cancel these two. If you apply the limits, you'll get 1 by alpha minus beta. So what is alpha minus beta? This is alpha. This is beta. Alpha minus beta is uh, minus 2 uh, plus 2 gets cancelled. You will get 2 root 3. So 1 by 2 root 3. Okay. Now this is your R1. Okay. Now uh, using Cauchy residue theorem. Uh, usually students, uh, um, some of the students will do the mistake. Uh, they don't... Uh, uh, they forgot, okay, they forgot this 2 by i. So they only take uh, this integral over c, d is by z square plus 1, okay. Well, so then that is equal to 2 pi a into some, some other residue. They don't write 2 by i. So finally, uh, uh, you will do, uh, okay, the mistake. So you should be very careful. So you should include this uh, 2 by i. So equation 1 implies, 1 implies, what is 1? i equal to 2 by i interval over c interval over c d z by z square z square plus 4 z plus 1 plus 4 z plus 1 okay so now this is equal to 2 by i this is of the form interval over C, F of is a D, Z by using Cauchy residue theorem. Uh, that is a 2 pi i into sum of the residue. Sum of the residue is what? R1 by CRT. So, uh, i i gets cancelled. 4 pi into R1. R1 is uh, 1 by 2 root 3. So final answer, 2 pi by root 3. So interval over 0 to 2 pi d theta divided by 2 plus cos theta is equal to 2 by pi uh, root 3. So problem is over. Okay, now I will go to the second problem. Using contour integration, evaluate. Integral over <laughs> integration over 0 to 2 pi. Okay, d theta divided by 13 plus 5 sin theta. Solution. So let us take uh, z equal to e power i theta. And then uh, d theta equal to d z by i z and then I need sin theta sin theta equal to uh, already derived z square minus 1 by 2 i z so now i equal to integration from 0 to 2 pi d theta divided by 13 plus phi sin theta. 
So this is equal to interval over C mod Z equal to 1. Okay, D theta is D Z by I E Z. It is in the numerator. The denominator you have a 13 plus 5 sin theta. Okay, 13 plus 5 sin theta is Z square minus 1 divided by 2 I Z. Okay, so this is uh, equal to integration over C D Z by I Z. So take 2 I Z is LCM. So then 26 I Z plus 5 Z square minus 5 divided by 2 I Z. So I Z, I Z gets cancelled. So 2 uh, integration over C D Z by 5 Z square plus 26 I Z minus 5. You can take uh, uh, F of Z is uh, 1 by 5 Z square plus 26 I Z minus 5 as it is or otherwise you can take 5 common. So make it coefficient of Z square is 1. D Z by uh, Z square plus 26 by 5 I Z minus 1. Okay, so this is actually I 2 by 5. Okay, so F of Z is here F of Z is uh, 1 by uh, Z square plus 26 by 5 into I Z minus 1. f of z equal to 1 by z square plus 26 by 5 i z minus 1. Now I am going to equate the denominator equal to 0. It is z square plus 26 divided by 5 i z minus 1 equal to 0. So, so find out the two roots. So, is that equal to um, minus b plus or minus root of b square 26 by 5 whole square is uh, uh, 26 by 5. 26 square is what? 676 are. 676 divided by 5 square is uh, 25 i square is minus 1 so, okay this is actually uh, uh, b square okay otherwise you can write first as it is and then you can write in the next step uh, 26 by 5 i whole square b square minus 4 AC 1 into minus 1, okay, divided by 2A. So this is equal to minus 26 by 5 plus R minus, so root of, this is minus, I square is minus, 26 square is 676 divided by 25 plus 4 divided by 2. So this is equal to minus 26 by 5 i plus or minus root of uh, this is 100. So minus 576 by 25. Okay, divided by 2. So this is a 24 square. Okay, wow. so i 24 uh, divided by 5. Okay, so next step is that equal to 
minus 26 by 5 phi i plus or minus the numerator is i24 divided by 5 I divided by 2. Now, if you divide by 2, you will get uh, is that equal to minus 13 divided by 5 i plus or minus uh, plus or minus uh, 12 i uh, 12 i by 5. Twelve i by five. So if you add these two, you'll get uh, minus i by five. If you subtract these two, uh, minus uh, minus uh, minus five i uh, minus five. Uh, Twenty five by five minus five i. So you have both of them are uh, poles, and both of them are simple poles. So alpha equal to minus five. Is a simple pole or pole of order one okay lies outside C. C is what mod is that equal to one. So we know that uh, modulus of uh, modulus of minus phi i equal to what it is equal to root of or 25 that is 5 so which is greater than 1 so that's why it is lies outside the unit circle and the beta equal to minus i by 5 minus i by 5 is a simple pole lies inside lies inside uh, mod uh, is, is C, C is mod is that equal to 1. So again, if you take uh, model S, that is root of 1 by 25, that is 1 by 5. So 1 by 5 is less than 1. So, so that's the reason minus i by 5 lies inside the circle mod is that equal to 1. So residue of f of z, r1 is r1 equal to residue of f of z at z equal to beta because alpha lies outside so only thing uh, beta uh, is lies inside so and, and also beta is a simple pole so limit z approaches beta uh, z minus beta into f of z f of z is already i took f of z is what 1 by uh, this denominator so for this you have alpha and beta roots so 1 by alpha minus 1 by z minus alpha into z minus beta so 1 by uh, if you want to write the function you can write it okay that is uh, z square plus 26 by 5 i z z square plus uh, 26 26 uh, sorry 26 by phi i z uh, phi i z minus 1 so after equating this uh, equal to 0 we got alpha and beta so limit uh, z approaches beta the z minus uh, beta into 1 by z minus alpha into z minus beta So you can cancel z minus sorry z minus beta and z minus beta so after applying the limits you'll get a beta minus alpha what is beta what is alpha uh, beta minus alpha so minus i by phi plus uh, phi a so 1 by minus phi i plus phi a so minus of minus plus phi sorry beta is uh, minus i by phi okay minus i by phi minus of minus okay 
plus 5. So now this is equal to a 5 divided by uh, this is minus i plus 25i or pi by 24i. So this is the residue of f of z at z equal to beta. Now equation 1 implies what is equation 1? So this is e equation 1. So equation 1 implies i equal to 2 by 5 for this portion for uh, this portion uh, it, it should apply a Cauchy residue theorem. Okay. This is what integration over integration C f of z d is that is, is equal to 2 pi i into some other residues. So 1 implies i equal to, what is the constant I have? 2 by i, yeah. 2 by 5, yes, 2 by 5 into 2 pi i into sum of the residues, that is R1. So this is 4 pi i by 5 into R1. R1 is 5 by 24i. So i i gets cancelled. So pi by 6. So this is the final answer. So the given problem is the integration over 0 to 2 pi uh, d theta divided by 13 plus uh, d theta divided by 13 plus 5 sin theta. is equal to pi by 6. Okay. The next problem. So next I will choose something little bit, uh, little bit, uh, uh, slightly different one. Prove that integral 0 to 2 pi uh, d theta divided by a plus b cos theta is equal to 2 pi uh, divided by root of a square minus b square where a greater than b b greater than 0 and and hence find and hence find uh, <coughs> integration over 0 to 2 pi so these types of problems uh, you can expect in the examination also um, Okay, uh, 0 to 2 pi d theta divided by a plus b cos theta whole square. So the previous two problem is understanding the concept. Once you understand the concepts, uh, you can easily solve any problems. Now, so I'll take this is i. i equal to uh, integration 0 to 2 pi d theta divided by a plus b cos theta. I call this is 1. And uh, substitute, let us take z equal to e power i theta and d theta equal to dz by i z. And the cos theta is z square plus 1 divided by 2z. So now i equal to integral over c. c is mod z equal to 1. d theta is dz by iz divided by a plus b 
uh, cos theta is uh, z square plus uh, 1 divided by 2z. Okay, so where c is mod z equal to 1. Okay, this is equal to integral over c dz by iz. If you take uh, 2z is LCM, 2a is that. 2a is that plus b is that square plus b divided by 2 is that so is that is that gets cancelled so this is equivalent to uh, 2 by i 2 by i integral over c uh, d is that by b is that square plus 2a is that plus b d is that by b is a square plus 2a is that plus b okay so now uh, you can take f of z is 1 by b is a square plus 2a is that plus b as it is or otherwise you can make coefficient of z square is 1 you can take b also common so 2 by ib tell over c t z by z square plus 2a divided by b into z plus 1 actually this is i okay so i equal to 2 by ib Okay, or 2 by ib. You can write uh, uh, like this also. F of z d z, where f of z equal to what? You call this is 2. You call this is 2, where f of z is? 1 by z square plus 2a by b. Yeah, okay, yes, correct. Sheila. z square plus 2a uh, z, sorry, 2a by b. Uh, is that plus one okay now uh, we need to equate the denominator equal to zero and find out the singularities and if this is a quadratic in z so so it has a uh, two uh, roots so both of them are uh, poles okay equal to zero so so this implies is that equal to minus b 2a minus 2a by b plus r minus uh, root of b square is 4 a square by b square okay b square minus 4 a c is 4 uh, divided by 2a so 2 Okay, now uh, you can take uh, b square is LCM. Okay, uh, and the, otherwise you can take 4 is common. If you take 4 common as well as b square is LCM, then you will get what? Is that equal to minus 2a by b? Minus 2a by b. Okay, uh, plus or minus. Uh, root of sorry root of four uh, a square minus four b square uh, divided by b square uh, okay under, under the root everything divided by two so now this is equal to is that equal to minus two a by b plus or minus uh, 2 by b root of k square minus b square uh, divided by 2. So now uh, if you divide by 2 you will get z equal to minus a by b plus or minus 1 by uh, I think b is common okay uh, take it out. So after cancelling this 2 you have minus sorry 
minus a plus uh, minus a plus root of a square minus b square divided by b plus or minus okay here i need to write plus or minus okay just i am dividing by two so here you have two roots one is alpha another one is beta both of them are simple poles so is that equal to minus a plus uh, i call this is alpha okay alpha is minus a plus root of a square minus b square divided by b i see a simple pole similarly beta okay i don't have space i'll write here beta is minus a minus root of a square minus b square divided by b is also a simple pole okay now uh, we need to find out uh, okay which one lies inside which one lies outside okay there are two method one is uh, easiest method another also easiest easier method that's a proper method okay uh, in the problem uh, a greater than b greater than 0 so it is given okay easy now i am going to use this idea a greater than b greater than 0 okay so a greater than b greater than 0 so you take a equal to 2 b equal to 1 for example okay wow. so, so that's why i told that it is the easiest method so if i do uh if you please check it if i substitute here what you will get alpha and beta please tell minus 2 plus root 3 by 1 or root 3 by 1 1 okay so that means uh, minus 2 plus root 3 uh, which is uh, less than 1 uh. yes sir yes yeah, because 1.732 minus 2 so so you can easily find out alpha lies inside similarly uh, for the next one minus 2 also less than 1 sir uh, or rather it is greater than one yes sir greater than one. yeah because both of them are minus so it is greater than one so so this is a pole uh, which lies outside this is a pole which lies inside so using this uh, example even in the examination you can do like this okay but uh, but the proper proof is not the uh, i can say it's a proper proof the reason is uh, I am assuming uh, this is less than one, okay? Or you can assume it's greater than one. So that is up to you. So alpha is less than one. So that means assume alpha is less than one. So what is alpha minus a plus r minus? R plus R minus plus uh, root of k square minus b square uh, divided by b. Okay, wow. so this is less than one. Cross multiply. Okay, and then sorry. You cross multiply get b and then this a goes this side a plus b and squaring on both sides sorry okay so this is a square minus b square which is less than a square plus b square plus 2ab so cancel a square a square 
after cancelling a square a square b square goes this side 2b square plus 2ab so which is true which is true the reason is a greater than 0 b greater than 0 that is the assumption the problem so which is true means your assumption is also true suppose you get something false your assumption is also false so you can change the inequality similarly for the second second one what is the second one sir yeah sir, but this is true for both a and b negative also right a and b negative uh yeah a and b are negative because here how here how a and b yes it is also true for a and b negative also but in the problem uh, it is given a greater than 0 and uh, b greater than 0 okay so so using the assumption okay well, so because of this this is true so so that's why i conclude that alpha is less than one you are right there when a is uh, uh, less than zero and b is less than zero also it is true you are telling okay but uh, we don't consider that case here okay okay sir. yeah because in the problem it is given a and b are greater than zero so so that's the reason okay uh this is all this is greater than zero okay now uh assume Assume beta is less than one. What is beta? Beta is uh, minus a minus uh, root of uh, a square minus uh, b square by b, which is less than one. Okay, so minus a minus root of a square minus b square which is less than b okay now uh, minus a minus b which is less than root of a square minus b square or minus of a plus b less than root of a square minus b square okay if you squaring on both sides you will get what So if you square on both sides, you have this inequality. Okay. Uh, from this we have a square plus b square plus uh, 2ab, which is less than a square minus b square. So you can cancel a square a square. Okay. So 2b square plus uh, 2ab less than 0. Okay. Uh, but this is not possible uh, this is not possible because a and b are what this is not possible since both a and b are greater than zero zero yeah both a and b are greater than zero so it should be greater than zero so that means if this is not possible means your assumption is wrong so that means beta should be greater than one so this is a way you can do it but in the examination if possible you can do right you can write otherwise just you can substitute the values of uh, uh, i told already but i erased here but the, the values of a and b should satisfy this condition which condition uh, a should be greater than b means you should take a, a 3 and a 2 or 2 and a 1 like this so you should be a little bit careful so so this is not possible means this implies in the next step b should be theta should be greater than 1 so hence alpha lies 
inside uh, C, inside C, okay, inside C, and uh, beta lies outside C. Okay. So now we need to find the residue R1. R1 is uh, residue of F of Z. Residue of F of Z at Z equal to alpha. That is the limit uh, Z approaches alpha. Z minus alpha into F of Z. So please tell F of Z 1 by J square plus. Ah, uh, uh, please tell me, sir. One by is a square plus. Uh, two a by b z plus one. Yeah, two a by b z plus one. Plus one. Yeah, plus one. Okay. Actually, this is z minus alpha into z minus beta. Yes, sir. Thank you, Vishal. This is uh, one by z minus alpha into z minus beta so you can cancel these two after applying the limits you have 1 by uh, alpha minus beta okay alpha minus beta i think you know what is alpha and you know beta okay alpha is uh, this beta is this if you subtract uh, okay that is a by b plus minus a by b plus a by b gets, gets cancelled uh, yeah. this is plus so two times root of a square minus b square by b two times uh, two times root of a square minus b square by b so that is alpha minus b or you can write b in the uh, numerator so b by r1 equal to b divided by 2 into uh, root of a square minus b square. So this is r1. So now equation, uh, equation 2 implies uh, 2 implies actually this is equal to integral over c f of z d is equal to 2 pi i into some other is due but you need to multiply that by 2 by i, I b so 2 by i b i equal to 2 by i b into of uh, instead of that integral i am using Cauchy integral form Cauchy residue theorem 2 pi i into some other residue that is r1 by crt okay so this is equal to i i gets cancelled so 4 pi by b r1 is uh, b by 2 into root of a square minus b square so after cancelling this b b gets cancelled so 2 pi by root of a square minus b square so actually we need we need a square minus b square this is your i you can check it yes so first part is over okay so for the to get the second part uh, the second part is here we have square so uh, you need to differentiate you need to differentiate partially this function okay uh, so a yeah, with respect to a or with respect to b okay so depending upon the answer but here they don't give anything so if they give uh, uh, suppose they show that something then you should you should uh, differentiate with respect to a or b but uh, i am going to differentiate the equation uh, this equation okay partially with respect to a i call this is i the so 3 uh, 3 is uh, left hand side is what 
left hand side is uh, the problem uh, i will write uh, 0 to 2 pi uh, d theta divided by a plus uh, b cos theta okay so now differentiate equation 3 partially with respect to a so we get uh, so okay so you can interchange uh, differentiation and integration okay so we'll get uh, integration 0 to 2 pi to differentiate with respect to a you'll get what minus uh, 1 by a plus b cos theta whole square into you are differentiating a into 1 so minus d theta divided by a plus b cos theta whole square so into 1 okay so and then right hand side what is the right hand side uh, on the right hand side you have 2 pi uh, denominator you have what denominator you have uh, root of a square minus b square so that is a square minus b square whole power minus half a. okay if you differentiate with respect to a you will get to minus half a square minus b square whole power minus half minus 1 that is minus 3 by 2 into 2a so 2 2 gets cancelled so you will get what okay first i will write 2 pi minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 a square minus b square a square minus b square full power minus 3 by 2 into 2a So now if you simplify, we'll get uh, throughout multiply by minus 1, we'll get 0 to 2 pi d theta divided by a plus b cos theta whole square. Uh, 2 to gets cancelled, uh, uh, 2 pi a, 2 pi a divided by a square minus b square whole power 3 by 2. So I think it is better to differentiate partially with respect to A. So don't differentiate partially with respect to B. Okay, because coefficient of A is here 1. Okay, so that is the reason we are differentiating partially with respect to A. Okay, so now, okay, what is time now? So 5 okay uh, 545 i'll stop here uh, so we will solve some, some more problems in the uh, next class okay so i think uh, um, i gave some idea today so now i'll give some practice problem you try these practice problem and then we will discuss again on monday practice problem one prove that integral over 0 to 2 pi uh, d theta divided by a plus b sin theta okay uh, is equal to 2 pi divided by root of a square minus b square where a greater than b greater than zero so problem number two prove that integration over zero to two pi uh, d theta divided by one minus two x sine theta plus x square 
is equal to 2 pi by 1 minus x square where 0 less than x less than 1 okay okay thank you thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you, thank you sir